everybody, Howler58 here, and right now I'm going to review the tent that I carried exclusively on the AT, and it is the uh, Z-Pax Duplex Cuban Fiber Tent. I did a preview of this, this tent um, back in, I believe, January or early February, and I actually tested it out in some pretty uh, rough conditions, 15 degrees and snow. I only set this tent up twice before I actually went on the trail. And I recommend if you get a tent like this, this particular tent, or a Z-Pack tent, period, that you practice setting it up at least a dozen times before you go. It's not difficult, but there's a knack to it, and once you get it down, you can get this tent up in probably, uh, you know, under 10 minutes. But there are some little tricks that uh, I learned, and uh, I'll pass those on to you. Um, it comes with a, a stuff sack. Uh, it weighs 20 ounces, and I basically kept this on the outside of my pack in my mesh uh, carrier on the back of my um, Arcall pack. The reason is because sometimes I'd be packing this wet or damp, and it just took up quite a bit of room in, in my pack, even though it's quite compressible. This is about as small as you're going to get this. This is not a freestanding tent. And I want people to understand before they purchase this particular type of tent that it requires stakes. It requires either a tent poles, which z -Pack sells, are made of carbon fiber, or trekking poles, which I use exclusively. They work great. Um, it does not have tent poles, per se, like some of the freestanding tents. I have to say that the most popular tent that I saw on the trail was actually the uh, Big Agnes uh, Fly Creek 2, I believe. Uh, I saw so many hikers carrying that particular uh, tent. I believe it weighs two and a half pounds. Good quality, um, nice tent, has a fly, easy to set up, and it is freestanding, um, but it also should be staked. The only problem I had with this tent is when I got into some of the more rocky areas of uh, Pennsylvania. And I was having trouble getting it staked. It actually bent a couple of stakes. So what I would do is I would find a very large rock, and I would actually put the stake into the guy uh, rope line, and I would lay a very large stone on top of it. I mean, a 10-pound stone, whatever I could find. And that would, that would actually secure the corner uh, very well. It worked. Um, but it's, it's, it's something that you need to know going into the um, hike if you're going to purchase this tent is it is not a freestanding tent. It is a very comfortable tent. Um, this is a duplex. I do, I do recommend a solo hiker getting the duplex, not the single solo. Uh, if there's two of you, you have a hiking partner, I would go with the, the uh, three-person tent. I think they call it the triplex because, as you know, you know, two is one, one is none in most cases when you're hiking and camping. I was able to put everything in my tent. Everything. Now if you're over six feet tall, you may have some issue. You're gonna have to angle yourself uh, diagonally in the tent. But I still was able to keep my pack in there, all of my gear, my shoes, uh, my cook set, all my gear, electronics. Now, there are door flaps, there are two entrances to this tent, and you can see that in my um, photos and in many, many other uh, videos on YouTube. So it's, that's great because each person in the tent would have access to either side getting in and out, which is nice, not having to climb over someone else, if you have a person with you. And again, I would recommend highly you go with the, uh, the three-person tent, the triplex, I think they call it. Um, but I had vegetables. I could actually set out my gear under vegetables on both sides. And what I'd usually do is set my camp stove and my shoes, if they were damp, uh, outside. And I had plenty of room. I could sit up uh, in the middle of the tent. I could actually get up on my knees in the middle of the tent, and I had plenty of room. The tub, the floor of the tent, is attached to the tent. 
and it can be adjusted anywhere from uh, six to eight inches deep. During the rainstorms that I experienced, often I would experience a little bit of splashback. If it was really coming down at an angle, you're going to get a little splash up um, underneath the uh, the uh, door flaps, um, especially if you have them extended into a vestibule, and you're going to get a little splashback. But I would say that I stayed totally dry about 98% of the time. The bug screens are awesome. Um, they have each one has two zippers. The bug screens on this tent are great. They are very fine. They're very strong. I experienced no rips, tears, snags. So I can I can say this about this tent. I highly recommend this tent. And the only thing I would say about this tent to give people um, something to think about is the fact that it's not a freestanding tent and the price. This tent costs $600 and that's a lot of money for a tent when you can get tents for under 200 that are a little heavier but will do fine. It just depends on what you want. I had the funds so I bought it. It's it's uh, That could be a drawback for some people, the, the price of the tent. I am thoroughly satisfied with the way this tent is constructed. Um, and its performance on the AT. It went through uh, snow and rain and sleet. Now, I will tell you this. I know the, the hiker personally. He's a subscriber who had his tent set up in the hail storms that uh, I went through, that I documented. The hail damaged his tent. It went through the tent. It, um, it ripped through the cuban fiber. That, I would say, is you know, so unlikely, and the chances of that are happening, getting caught into a hailstorm with your tent up, are slim. But it could happen. I think it was a freak thing, but the, the, the hail was marble size, and in some cases larger. And he contacted z and they gave him a new tent. They either sent it to him uh, to a, uh, a trail town, or he picked it up in trail days, but he did get a new tent. Um, one thing I'll say about z is they're a cottage industry owned by hikers, run by hikers, and employee, employees there are hikers. And they're constantly trying to improve their products. And when I do my pack review, um, there's some things that I'm going to point out to you that are my, concern me, definitely not deal breakers. And I already know that Z-Packs is addressing the issue. A lot of competition now coming up with ultralight gear, and I would say that uh, Z-Packs is, uh, is on top of the wave there. So. Um, the tent, I highly recommend the z pack duplex Cuban fiber tent, 20, 21 ounces, very reliable, waterproof, um, strong, and easy to set up once you get the knack of it. Highly recommended, folks.